front wheel moving. Nothing going on in the back. Dry shaft, nothing's moving. Opposite direction. Same old, same old. Nothing's moving. Opposite front wheel's doing nothing. I don't really see the shaft moving a little bit there. It's not going anywhere. So we'll start by removing the front dry shaft. These little guys here are 11 millimeters. Um, if you got it up in the air like I do, uh, you're going to need a air gun to get it off. Not very difficult, but uh, if you don't have that, you're going to need a hell of a breaker bar. You need to have the front wheels on the ground at least to get these broke loose. All right, good luck. Okay, we're going to remove the rear dry shaft. Four bolts, eight millimeters. Uh, very difficult to get the um, wrench on there with the impact socket that is I'm sorry so we're going to use a little eight millimeter wrench and a persuader Just break them loose oh wait I said that pretty tight Yeah, somebody come step on the brakes. I don't want that rich. There we go. I think. Oh, save some time. We ain't got the old butterfly impact. As long as it's broke loose, this should get it off. Very tight quarters here, though. Oh boy, oh, I don't look good either. Loose enough. Persuade it. Oh, let's see. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Let's see what we got up. Oh, there she is. There she goes. Alright. I'm not pulling this thing out. That's why I absolutely have to. Let's move on to the front.
output shaft turning, rear output turning, front output is doing nothing. That's actually going. Cool.
bearings and bearing surfaces look okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to be using this just as an emergency spare if anything. I really don't care. Uh, let's see. Let's get this out of here. Chain is uh, sagging pretty good. It's got 196,000 miles on it. Alright, let's get the chain off. Viscous coupling does look discolored. Does that just mean? Nope, it is brown. Um, more than likely, burn up. I don't see any leakage. There is some type of thick, greasy buildup in the center, so that could be leakage. I'm not about to find out. That's definitely not transmission fluid. Um, pretty thick grease. Uh, same grease that's it's here also. Very heavy grease. I don't think that's supposed to be here. all the way back. All the gears look good. Nothing out of ordinary. Easily turned by hand. I don't know how to test these things, but I know what it's supposed to do and what it's not supposed to do. I don't think it's supposed to turn that easy. But then again, it's probably in the unlock format right now. Let's get this back in there.
back up and put shaft back in. soon so this is just to diagnose what the hell happened. Well, it was it wasn't good. Forced me to change the transfer case. 